can see how important for us as a Christian to be united so they can overcome all the evil around us. How many enemies they hate Christianity. The communist, the socialist, the Islamic, I mean, you name it, we have billions of people, they are at war with the Christianity, literally. And yet, instead of seeing how important it is to be united so we can stand for the danger, what we do? We divide our house. So we become weaker and weaker and weaker, and then the devil take us like a piece of cake one by one. This is why I say to you that the one who divides you is just an idiot. Even if he think he is serving God. Are you with me? The more divided we are, the more there is doors, or let us say holes in the gate, like the gate which is fighting the enemy, like we are behind the, uh, you know, the walls of faith. But then they will find a way because we are divided. The wall is not solid. The wall is not thick. The wall is not high. The weak wall cannot stand the enemy. You might ask yourself, like you are talking about it as if you are in like a, as if you are an army leader and war, because this is how it is. We are at war. We are at war, literally. Physically. There's people who want to kill Christians physically. And they are killing Christians physically. Go in Africa and see how many Christians every Sunday are attacked and killed. But nobody talk about them, by the way, because they are African. If they attack in America, the whole world will talk about them. If they attack in Gaza, those are the white ones, you know. Right away, everybody speak about them. But the poor black people, you know, they slaughter, you know, in Mozambique, etc. Like 50, 60 Christians killed in the church. Did you hear about them? Nobody talk about them. Yeah, because they are African. They don't have the money of the oil of Saudi Arabia. They don't have the support of of of, the, of, of uh, Brunei and Qatar and so, you know they don't have. Those they own all the medias in the West. They own even your 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 football uh, you know uh, uh, teams. They are buying everything in Europe in their way. This is why you see the huge impact they are doing in the society. Journalists work for them. Journalists, their name is James, not, not their name is Muhammad. Money is very powerful. So they have a lot of tools to fight you. Instead of making unity to fight this massive evil power coming to you, what do you do? You divide yourself from the fellow Christians. This is what I call a stupid move. So we as a Christian should be united with people in Africa. Those are our brothers and sisters. Color does not change anything. We should feel for them. We should stand with them. We should support them. Same as people in Asia or anywhere. But doesn't mean, by the way, if you are white, people will not support you. No, because support always is exchange. You know, you will see right now in Europe, People preaching the Gospels, they are African. So now the white man in Europe, he ignored the Gospel. He think it's just a stupid thing. So imagine, one day the white man, he came to Africa to tell him to tell him about, about Jesus. Today the black man is coming to Europe saying to them, you are an idiot, you white man. Jesus is the only one who can save you. I told you before a story about a European man, he went to Brazil. And then he want to go in the jungle, in the Amazon. So he hired a local. This local, during the trip, you know, he have a little book in his hand. So this white European man said to this local, what are you reading? The Brazilian, he said, oh, this is the gospel. <laughs> European, he laughed. He said, you still read those things? <laughs> he laughed. So anyway, they keep going in their journey. And then they arrive to a cave. This is the whole purpose, actually, of this trip, to show them how people used to live in, in those uh, isolated area. So they arrive to a cave, and this cave full of bones of a human. And it looked like a kitchen, like fire, you know, pit. And so he said, what is this? He said, this is here, my tribes. They used to capture a human being and eat them. So the white man, he says, and what about now? 
He said, do you remember the book you love at? He said, do you mean the Bible? He said, yes. He said, because of that book, you are not in my dish now. <laughs> so the stupid white man, he was making fun of that book. But you do not know that if he came to this area and this book is not there yet, and those people don't believe in that book, he will be eaten and he will be cooked, literally. This is why it's very important for us as a Christian to spread the, you know, the good news. In the same time, when we spread it, we spread unity, not division. Because if we spread the good news and we spread with it division, so what is the good news? You did not bring the good news yet. The good news, the true good news is to be united with the Lord, to be a family, whatever we are, to love our Christian follow. It doesn't matter what the church name. And if we don't agree about something with him, we discuss it with love, not with hatred, not with cursing. I wasn't going to go live today because simply I have really headache. Uh, I will try my best to go tomorrow if I am not getting sick because I don't feel really good. But I feel so good to be with you guys. I pray the Lord uh, will bring good things to us. And those people who they claim to be people of God, like this guy, uh, you know, and his, his uh, follow, they will be exposed more and more. And always those fake people, they end where they deserve. I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. God is good. So is Jesus. See you soon again.